Hey everybody, Physical Friday number five. This one is a great one. I really like this one. Just did some of this stuff. Uh, was on a trip to Bimini. Nice beach there. And this is, and there's also some nice water there. Beautiful area. Great place for a good workout. If I'm, if I'm at a location that has a beach, I typically go there. I like to exercise on the beach. I like the waves. I like the water. I love being around the water. And that's what this one today, Physical Friday number five, is all about beach workouts. So whether you're on vacation at the beach with your family or you happen to go someplace with a beach for work, um, <laughs> let's talk about the former first. If you're on vacation with your family, this is often when people go way off track, way off track. Because you're trying to spend time with the kids, you're trying to spend time with your wife, you're having a good time, you've been working really hard, now it's vacation. So, there goes the workout. It's over now. And you know what happens? You miss it that day, then you miss it the next day, the next day. Next thing you know, you've gone a week and, uh, and you're not exercising. It's hard to get back on. It's the easiest to just stay on. Just stay on the train, man. Every day, stay on the train. Don't get off. And when you go to the beach, you've got a wonderful place right there to exercise right in front of you. You can get the energy from the ocean. You've got sand between your toes. You can do it with your kids. Show them how to do this. Do it with your wife. All right, so here's, here's what we're going to do there. And just like kind of last week, when I go to the beach, I tend to gravitate for some reason to uh, some sort of shuttle run. And uh, I think that's because it's so easy just to draw a line in the sand with your foot and then walk 10 meters, 20 meters, 50 meters, whatever, half mile, and draw a line in the sand with your other foot. And now you have a, an area to cover, right? So that lends itself well to some sort of shuttle run. I don't like to do the beep test that we talked about last week on the beach because you know, I've set a benchmark and then you're going to be slipping in the, in the sand. And while it's a good workout, I don't want to compare that result to another. Um, so typically don't do the beep test out there, but I will do plenty of other combinations similar to what we talked about last week. I'll do 10 burpees on one side of the line and then run down and do something on the other side of the line, 10 sit-ups, and then do that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 workout where you're doing 10 and 10, 9 and 9, 8 and 8, and going all the way down to 1. If that's not enough, then go back up to 10. That's a good way. I also like um, the beach for doing things that uh, you might fall, like handstand walks, right? Because if you fall, you're just going to hit the sand. It's no big deal. And uh, you can also set your distance by just marking a line in the sand. So what I will do is uh, have two lines. And so you have a couple of different types of workouts you can do. You can either use those two lines in the space in between just to get a good workout. So you're running in between or you're doing lunges in between or you're doing something in between those two lines uh, or you're covering that distance as fast as you can. Those are the two different ways that I'll use the two lines. So if I'm going to cover that distance as fast as I can, it's going to be some sort of a suicide sprint or shuttle run or something like that. Or I can use that distance to be a little more creative and I can just uh, cover it with different movements. So I could have, you know, a line that's say 10 yards apart from one another. I'm going to lunge one way and walk on my hands back the other way. Lunge back, walk on my hands back. Do that 10 times. That's one way you could do it. You could do all types of, uh, of combinations there. Um, I'll also like to try to incorporate um, an ocean swim if possible, if it's safe. If the water looks good, um, it was perfect in Bimini. So we would just go out there and, you know, there's a house. I'll, I'll find two landmarks. In this case, it was houses. In other places, it might be uh, like the Panhandle of Florida or something. You might have big hotels. Um, you might have these different areas where you could just be just barely off the beach and, uh, and you could swim from one hotel to the other. You know, maybe that's 100 yards. Maybe it's 500 yards. Maybe it's a half a mile, 
um, and then you could run that distance and then swim back and run that distance and swim back and run that distance and swim back. That's a way you can do it. If you are not comfortable with that and you still want to get into the ocean, um, one of the things that I like to do also is just tread water. Tread water for 15 minutes. Set your set your alarm on your watch and just uh, just don't touch the bottom for 15 minutes. Now, you all obviously want to be careful if there's a riptide or anything's pulling you out. You want to be aware of where you are. and and uh, But if it's safe, this is a good thing to do. All right. So um, I like all of the beach workouts because of the type of workouts that we just talked about, the, the uh, possibilities are limitless. And one thing that I don't often do on the beach is the deck of cards workout because typically on the beach it can be windy the cards start blowing everywhere and that that one's not so good so i like to go out there with an idea something that i can keep in my head and just say okay this 10 9 8 7 6 workout is going to be great and i'm going to do lunges and handstand walks uh in between 10 burpees on each side um and go down to to one so i'm going to know what i'm doing before i get to the beach not going to walk out there and kind of wonder what it is that I'm doing, right? And that's the common theme that we've been talking about on five of these now is check in, see what's there, decide what you're going to do the night before. And uh, that is really the trick to being able to get this in everywhere you go, anywhere you go. Know what you're going to do before you go to bed then get up and get it done right so beach workouts it's another that's another way that you can incorporate kind of the the local uh terrain go work out on the beach it's awesome all right so if you like that one give me a email podcast at saltwaterexperience.com if you've got beach workouts that you'd like to share with me i'd love to hear them um and uh looking forward to it so until then get after it and we'll be back next week with number six of this 10-part series on getting in shape and being in shape on the road at hotels with minimal equipment all right thank you see you